You know, we've all heard, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Well, in Kenny Mattingly's case, to be able to continue farming at his dairy farm, he had to find a way to add value to his milk. So why not make cheese? His farmhouse cheese is in great demand in restaurants and homes all over the country. We wanted to make a living on this farm my dad moved us to in 1976. And um, I went on a trip to Europe where I saw these type of operations or this model of agriculture, the smaller scale farm that was doing value added, uh, either cheese or uh, yogurt or first dairy. So when I returned from that trip in 1990, I began, you know, kind of researching or try and find people I could talk to to get ideas about value added. You know, the value added business puts the farmer in touch with the consumer. And I think that's what a lot of farmers miss. They don't get to meet the people that they produce for. And so we get a lot of pats on the back, some criticism or questioning about how we do things. But, um, but for the most part, it's, it's a lot of encouragement to keep doing what you're doing. And um, I know about the third year into cheese making, I was about ready to hang it up. And my mom said, you need to go to farmer's market and see how much people appreciate what you're doing. And after that visit to the Louisville farmer's market, I came back and I was charged up, started making three new types of cheese. And uh, I just, I keep remembering, you know, what the customers comments and their appreciation of what we're doing. Well, I want to, I want to share the successes and you know some of the difficulties of being in this business with farmers that are uh, interested in doing something like this because uh, if other cheesemakers and people that went before me doing this type of thing hadn't had an open door to us to, to learn from them then you know we would never got started uh, so I want to I want to have that same openness to other people that are interested in, in this type of thing and learning. Uh, my son and daughter-in-law just got a boat pass to have, be able to have a winery on our farm. So uh, he, the ABC guy came yesterday and gave him a thumbs up. And so hopefully by the end of summer, we'll be able to market some wine here. And I think that'll be a, another drawing point, you know, get people to come to the farm and uh, the perfect pair, cheese and, cheese and wine. So. Uh, it's kind of exciting that my son is uh, continuing to build on what my dad started here, you know, bringing us to the dairy farm, and then we added the cheese business, and now another business is springing up off this farm. So it's kind of exciting. Uh, being a member of the Kentucky Farm Bureau Roadside Market has been beneficial in the fact that it's uh, uh, bringing people to our farm, you know, through the uh, brochure support we get through the staff, through supplying us with the roadside market bags. <laughs> Seems like a simple thing, but it's very important to our business to have those bags for uh, shipping. And also the, uh, the advertising you get, just to the distribution of those, those bags. And I would say because of this uh, cheese business on our farm, that we're still farming. It's given us uh, a way to make our milk valuable enough to, to stay in the business.